This is the chat tool that I've been using on my Twitch stream for the past few months. And it does one thing that no other tool does, and I cannot stream without it anymore. If you hover over any chat message, there are five customizable quick action buttons that you can set up to do literally anything that you want. For example, I set up one that allows me to translate any message. So if someone comes in and starts typing in Swahili or something, I can quickly translate their message into English. Or this button, which allows me to automatically shout out anybody I want in chat. All I gotta do is hover over their name, click one button, and then it tells everybody in my stream to go follow that person along with whatever game that they're playing. I even made this custom Q&A widget that allows me to highlight your questions by just hovering over your question, clicking a button, and then and then it just appears on screen. I put this widget up on Patreon, by the way, but, but we'll talk more about that at the end. These quick action buttons can do anything you can think of. But since I know you guys don't like thinking for yourself, I have made 10 example buttons that you can just go download from the description and start using right away. So I'm gonna show you how to set up these quick action buttons right after this video sponsor, VIP SED Keys. If you're looking to get a Windows 11 license, you can get them for as low as $21. Just use my code NUTTY at checkout to get it for 30% off. And if you wanna save a little bit more money, you can get a Windows 10 key for $15 and just upgrade that to Windows 11 completely for free. It also supports secure payment methods like PayPal. They'll send you an activation code. You put that in your Windows settings. No more Windows activation watermark. Get your Windows keys in the description down below or just go to VIPSEDKeys.com. So the tool we'll be using today is actually just StreamerBot. A lot of you guys are already using StreamerBot. If you refuse to use StreamerBot because it looks super ugly, I can't really help you with that, but hear me out because this is super useful. It turns out StreamerBot has its own built-in chat client for reading Twitch chat. It also works for YouTube as well, so you can combine Twitch and YouTube chats into a single stream of messages, so it's way easier to read. You just click on the button that says chat up here and it opens up. And whoa, would you look at that? It has dark mode. Why doesn't the main app have that? Now the feature we're gonna be focusing on today is the quick action bar. So if you hover over any messages, you'll see these handy quick buttons to do different things. And they're completely customizable. If you go into the settings and scroll all the way to the bottom, you can set up to five different quick actions. And all you gotta do is click on one of the numbers and select an action in the actions dropdown. Now, if you've never used StreamerBot before, you're not gonna see anything here, and that's because you actually need to make the actions beforehand. But an action is basically just a thing that does stuff. That was a great explanation, we're rolling with that. I went ahead and made a few example actions for you guys, so you don't have to expend brain energy thinking up ideas for yourself. I put them in the description. There will be a coffee link there. They're totally free. Just put zero dollars. You don't actually have to pay me anything. You'll see a file called quickactions.nut. NUT stands for Nutties, Utilities, and Tools. Then in the main portion of the StreamerBot app, there will be an import button in the top left. Click on that and then in the window that pops up, drag that NUT file into that import string box and click on import. You'll have to close the chat window and then reopen it again. But when you go back into the settings, you should see all of your actions listed in that dropdown. And it's just as simple as picking an action that you wanna run. For example, let's start with the translate action. You just click on the one, choose the translate action. And then if you go back into the chat window, if you hover over any message and click on that one, it will automatically translate that message for you. That's it, it it's just that easy. Now, one doesn't really mean anything to you, right? It would be really nice if you could set up custom icons for each of these quick actions. And the good thing is you can do just that. Under the icon box, there's a link to icones.gis. Yep. That. <laughs> Here you can search for any icon that you want. For me, I think the Google Translate looks great. I, it literally uses Google Translate. This icon is perfect. You just click on the copy icon, go back into that icon box and paste the code right here. Now, when you're hovering over any message, it's gonna look like a Google Translate button instead of just a meaningless one icon, which is a lot more intuitive. By the way, the button is set up to translate to English by default because that's the language 
that I'm speaking right now. But if you wanted to translate to a different language like Spanish, you just have to right click on this argument right here and click on edit sub action and then enter in your language code. Here's a list of the supported languages. You just put in the two letter code for the language that you want, and then it will translate to that language instead. The shout out action is pretty handy too. This one just allows you to hover over someone's name and click on one button and it shouts them out. So if, uh, I don't know, Ludwig comes into your stream or someone else, I have no idea if Ludwig is a problematic personality. I don't watch him, uh, but you can add a shout out button that when you click on it, it posts a link to their stream and also whatever game that they're playing. So everyone on your on your stream can go uh, follow them. It's pretty much the same as the shout out command that most people have set up in their stream using like Nightbot or the Streamlabs bot. But instead of having to type out their name, you just click a button. It's way easier. The timeout action works pretty much the same way. So instead of you having to manually type out the timeout command in chat, you can add a quick button to time them out using a single click. By default, it times them out for 10 minutes, but you can customize the number of seconds just by modifying this field right here. You can even duplicate that timeout action for different durations. So if you wanna have one button that just times them out for one minute and then another that times them out for 24 hours, you can do that too. The purge button, by the way, is pretty much the same thing as the timeout button, except it only lasts for one second. So. It's a nice way to quickly delete all of someone's messages without actually timing them out. There's a moderator action and a VIP action. It's pretty straightforward. It just allows you to quickly give moderator status to someone. And then if they already have it, they click in the button again, and then it takes their mod status away. The user chat history action. This is probably my favorite one. One of the features that native Twitch chat has is the ability to just click on someone's username to view their entire chat history. So if someone says, hey, Nutty, dude, you like missed my message. Go back and read my message from like 10 minutes ago. You can just quickly pull up the last thing that they said. It's so useful, but sadly StreamerBot doesn't have it built in. So I, I added it back in. You just click on a button and then a new Chrome window opens up with all of their chat history right there, just like it does on Twitch. Super convenient, I use this one all the time. Unfortunately, if that chatter is on YouTube, YouTube doesn't have a feature like that. So instead, I just made the button open up their channel profile. So you can at least verify if that person is a bot or whatever, or maybe just check out their channel. The hyperlink opener action is also one that I highly recommend adding. One of the really annoying things about the streamer bot chat is if somebody pastes a link into chat, you can't just click on it. You have to like highlight their message and then paste it into your browser like it's like it's goddamn Jesus times. So I made a hyperlink opener that just opens up any URLs that it finds within a chat message. Even if they post multiple links, it will find each one and then open them all up one by one into your default browser. The poll action, this one's pretty niche. Uh, I didn't come up with this idea. Someone in my stream came up with it, but basically it takes whatever message you highlighted and then it turns it into a yes or no poll on Twitch. So instead of having to open up your Twitch dashboard and type in slash poll and then fill out all of the fields, you just click a button and then a poll magically starts. This one works really well with my Twitch poll widget, which you guys can get on Patreon. I made a widget that detects whenever you create a new poll on Twitch, and then it automatically shows that question on screen. So that way your viewers can easily see the live results with a countdown. Just a nice way to have the poll results baked into your VODs in case you wanna like make a YouTube video out of it or something. The quote action, this is another fun one. So a lot of people have a quote bot on their stream where they can save funny quotes from their viewers and StreamerBot has its own quote system too. So the quote action that I made just allows you to click on a button to save that person's message as a quote in your streamer bot quote database. Then your viewers can just type in exclamation mark quote in chat and it'll pull up a random quote from your database. You can see all your quotes in the quotes tab in the settings, by the way, just make sure to turn the feature on if you plan on using the quote action in your quick action bar. But my favorite one by far is my new Q and A widget. 
So if you guys run a lot of Q&A segments on your stream or you just wanna highlight one of your viewers' messages and pop that up on screen, I added a button that pops up whatever message you want in a little chat bubble. Like it kind of looks like when you're talking to someone like texting on your phone. It's like that and just pops up on screen, so cool. It's sort of like the website featured.chat, which I know some of you are gonna be like, Nutty, that already exists, they already made that. It doesn't exist anymore, okay? They shut down. Go to the website, it's gone. Plus mine's way simpler. It even shows like their profile picture with like their username, with the correct colors and everything. And yes, it does support both Twitch and YouTube all within the same window. This one I've put up as a Patreon exclusive. All the other actions I just talked about, you can get those for free, like I said, in the description. But this one took me the most time to make and uh, yeah, I wanna be a little bit greedy and you guys have to pay for it. It's $10 a month. You can get all of the other widgets I've made as well, including that Twitch poll widget that I showed you earlier, plus some of my upcoming future widgets that uh, I'm currently working on. Just pay for one month, get all the widgets that you want, and then cancel it. You don't have to, you don't have to pay $10 every single month. You can, of course, make your own custom quick action buttons too. Unfortunately, you can only assign a maximum of five quick action buttons. Quick correction, you can actually add as many quick actions as you want now. And there's also a new collapse option. So if I turn on collapse for this VIP button, it actually appears in the little overflow menu instead of having like 30 billion buttons clogging up this quick action menu. Yes, I'm sick by the way, I don't wanna go to camera. And if you're a bit more of an experienced streamer bot user, you can make some really cool, really creative quick action buttons. And you've got access to all sorts of variables that you could possibly need, including the message that someone sent, the name of the person that sent the message, whatever username color they're using, their profile picture, everything. I included a template action that just lists out all of the main variables that you have access to. So I'd love to see what you guys can come up with. If you have some really creative ideas for what you can do with these quick action buttons, uh, leave them in the comments down below or send me a video on Twitter and I'll share some of the best ideas that you guys can come up with. Uh, thanks for watching guys. Uh, go follow me on Twitch. Uh, go follow me on Discord. Go follow me on all the things. And uh, yeah, see, see you later. Is anyone still here? Hello, are you there? Okay, see you later guys.